The Problem with Procrastination, written and narrated by Sister Mandy Griffith. Is procrastination really such a bad thing? You've probably heard the quote, never put off until tomorrow what you can do today. But what's the big deal? If I have time tomorrow, or the next day, or the next, I can still get it done eventually, you know? All's well that ends well, right? Maybe you live by the quote, if it weren't for the last minute, nothing would get done. Just don't share that motto with your employer, okay? (laughs) With so much distraction these days, it's oh so easy to waste time, putting off the more important things for another day. I was having a conversation with someone who said, I keep waiting for the mood to hit me to get things done, but maybe the mood rarely comes. I really should exercise today, but I'm too tired. I really should prep dinner for my family, but I want to keep scrolling on my phone. I really should study the scriptures, but I don't feel like reading. I really should reach out to that sister, but I'll do it later. The scripture says, Boast not thyself of tomorrow, for thou knowest not what a day may bring forth. Proverbs 27, 1. Procrastination is the thief of time. We fall into a false sense of security that we have time. But time is not ours to claim, and there's no guarantee for tomorrow. Procrastination breeds slothfulness. He also that is slothful in his work is brother to him that is a great waster. Proverbs 18.9 Slothfulness casteth into a deep sleep, and an idle soul shall suffer hunger. Proverbs 19.15 O my son, do not let us be slothful because of the easiness of the way. Alma 37.46 Don't disregard the tendency to procrastinate because over time, it leads to slothful service. The Songs of Zion number 102, If You Would Labor in Zion, says, Jesus calls, are you sleeping? There is so much to do. It's not the time to be idle. I have labor for you. There's no time for delay. It's not the time to be sleeping or while the hours away. We need to wake up and work while the sun shines before night falls and there's no more time to work. Don't give opportunity for the label slothful servant to ever define you. Seize the day and squash the sloth. Therefore, to him that knoweth to do good and doeth it not, to him it is sin. James 4, 17. We don't want to think of procrastination as sin because it's too easy to fall into this seemingly innocent trap again and again. But we know better, don't we? And if we know better, let's do better. Action destroys procrastination. Put on your tennis shoes, fire up the treadmill or hit the sidewalk. Take one step and then another. Get the crock pot, fill it with your healthy ingredients, turn it on and move on. Pick up the Bible. Open the Book of Mormon. Just start reading and then keep going. Send a text, mail the card, place the call and be a blessing to someone. The problem with procrastination is that we may not acknowledge its negative potential. It's a low key offender and we dismiss its subtle, sneaky presence in our daily walk. Just be sure that repeated procrastination doesn't develop into slothful service and we find ourselves out of time and out of luck. Help us, Lord, as we take action and do better to serve you with full purpose of heart right here, right now. May we labor for you today while there is time and do good works unto your honor and glory.